Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday live activation. How is everybody doing today? Hello, everybody here who is live or watching the replay. And if you are watching the replay, that's okay. This will be just as powerful. So how I do my sessions is I will share a little bit about what we'll be doing today. Um, I got some messages from the Arcturians. I had a meeting with them before this. I took a nice bath and, and got all ready and prepared and, and had a conversation with them. And they're going to be helping us today with removing any negative implants, any negative interference, as well as sending healing to us, healing the inner child, past lifetimes, as well as energetic and DNA upgrades. So the Arcturians are going to be helping us so much today. It's so kind of them to offer to do this. Um, so I'll chat for a little bit. And then I will channel an activation with the Arcturians with my crystal alchemy singing bowl here, which I get from solosoaring.com. And I have the link for her website at the very bottom of the description if you're interested in looking um, for a crystal bowl for yourself. But they're incredibly powerful. So, um, yeah. How's everyone doing? Happy Sunday. Hello, 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 hello. So I've had some people asking me um, lately about negative implant removal. And unfortunately, that is something that um, possibly many star seeds have are these little, these negative implants implanted. They might be implanted into your physical body or your energetic field. It might be a multidimensional or, or other dimensional um, type device that is implanted within you to cause you cause you to keep your vibration low to basically stunt your growth in your ascension journey. Um, so that sucks. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing today is helping to get rid of those. Let me check the chat real quick. How is everyone doing? Happy Sunday. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello, hello. And if you are here right now, please give this video a like. Um, all right. Lots of lots of lovely people in the chat. We've got Katie. Hello, Cosmo Girl. Hello, Creaturely. Lots of childhood stuff for me too. Yep, that's a big one. And that was one of the messages that um, that they said whenever I took a bath and met with them before this was childhood. Oh my gosh. And I need to do an activation where we meet the inner child because it is so incredibly powerful. Just like thinking about hugging your child self is enough to get you emotional because there's just so much emotion um, with that. And we're all traumatized. All of us are. <laughs> and a lot of it comes from childhood. Um, and affects you to this day. So it can cause negative patterns. It can cause issues in your chakras and your energy centers. Like if you felt like you didn't have a voice growing up or you felt like you weren't loved growing up or you had an abusive family or even um, bullied at school, all of these things. And then um, especially females, but males too, um, in school growing up, you know, you hate your body image and, and there's all of these like social standards and social programming and all of these things like really mess you up and basically muddy your true essence, who you truly are and make you forget who you truly are. So that's important to help clear up. That's part of what we're doing right now is clearing all of the BS to remember who we truly are. And I absolutely love the Arcturians. So I want to show you guys something real quick. Um, there's this lovely woman named Danielle who um, I did an interview on her channel. And then uh, we traded services. I did a session for her and she offered a session to me. She's a tattoo artist. And she also uh, offers sessions where she draws. She meditates and meets your guides and then draws your guides. So she sent me. Um, some examples of her work, and this is an Arcturian guide that she drew for somebody. So this is somebody's Arcturian star family. Looks kind of like an Arcturian hybrid. Very beautiful. So this is her artwork. Her name is Danielle. So this is this has Arcturian energy in it. If you guys don't know who the Arcturians are, 
They usually have like bluish skin. They can have different colored skin too with the, the almond eyes. Um, Beth Noyes, who I've had on my channel before, she actually, her and a group of friends were taken up onto an Arcturian ship and she met the Arcturians face to face and they helped clear and heal her energetic field um, and her friends, which is just crazy. And she said that their eyes looked like Labradite. They were absolutely stunning. So just kind of tune into that image for a second. The Arcturian energy of it. Um, does Danielle have a website? So I'm not sure if she has a website, but I have her email. So her email, if you guys want to want to reach out to her, I uh, highly recommend. I put her email in the description. So her email is do here. I'll just copy it in the chat real quick. Um, D O B E R O S L E R at me.com is uh, Danielle's email. So uh, yeah, so she sent me that. Here's another being that she has depicted. Looks like a mantis type, insectoid type being somebody's guide. And then I'll show you guys the one she did for me. This is my guide that came through. <laughs> Um, she's a seraph or seraphim. Ooh, she had um, seven wings. So she put like another face on her and then she gave me a version where she uh, drew her face too. So she sent me two different versions. She printed them out. So that's a guide of mine. And I actually got to meet that guide after that, after uh, seeing this. So this can really help you connect uh, with your guides. So I just wanted to share that. Here's another one that she did of somebody's Native American guide. Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. So it really helps you connect. So, um, yeah, just again, the Arcturians, that's who we're going to be working with today. And uh, let's see what else. So about Im how implant, yeah, so pretty, isn't it beautiful? It's such a great idea too, because you can connect with their frequency so much easier whenever you use a, a depiction of them to uh, connect. That those frequencies are channeled into the artwork. And she does tattoos too, like I said. Um, okay, so the Arcturians. Going back to the Arcturians. So like I was saying about like the, the negative implant removal, um, a lot of us have these things. Um, and somebody shared a story with me where they were actually taken aboard an Arcturian ship. And I think they, they might have been sleeping. And then they just kind of like came to and they were like laying on um, like a table or chair or something on this ship. And there was an Arcturian who and th there were two Arcturians and they were talking back and forth. And one Arcturian said to the other, I've never seen so many devices in a single human being before. And uh, the person, I, I believe it was a woman, she, she was like waking up. She was like, hey, I don't have I don't have all of that stuff in me. And then the Arcturian turned around and she had like little like tweezers and she had this little tiny microscopic little device. And she said, do you doubt me? And that was like a little tiny device that she had just taken out of her. So literally these Arcturians were just like plucking all of these devices out of her energetic field and possibly physical body as well. So I thought that was a pretty interesting story. Um, so it sounds, it seems to be pretty common. Um, these can be put in from negative abduction experiences, which you may not even remember. They could be put in from um, just beings that want to interfere with you. Um, and, and you may have no idea that you have this stuff until you get rid of it. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I feel so much lighter and brighter. Um, yeah, it's very, yeah, crazy. Um, and then what the Arcturians were saying whenever I uh, met with them in my bathtub, I like to take a bubble bath and meet with them, which by the way, that really helps you to connect with your guides and connect with source, being in the water, having your crystals around, incredibly powerful. Um, so the Arcturians were saying focusing inward and healing is the number one priority right now. 
We all know there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on out there, um, but let's we're just letting letting things take the course that they need to for the rest of humanity to wake up. So be mindful. Don't get uh, distracted or focus too much outward, really focusing inward. And as you heal yourself and it, we're like onions, we're tearing away all of these layers of crap that we have accumulated from uh, childhood, from this lifetime, even past lifetimes that are still affecting us, negative patterns, subconscious uh, beliefs, uh, traumas that can cause clogs and imbalances in your chakras, which make you, you just don't function properly. You're not functioning to your highest potential. Uh, an example would be not being able to speak your truth, not being able to express yourself fully with like the throat chakra, um, having your heart closed off because you've been hurt so many times and that uh, causes a really big disconnect whenever you've got issues with your heart chakra and like everybody does. Um, it causes a huge disconnect between you and the higher power, your higher self, source, your star family, because they're high frequency. Your heart is the portal. Your heart is a highway to these other, uh, these higher realms. So incredibly important. So focusing inward and healing, number one priority. Uh, they were also uh, saying that they, we are receiving many upgrades right now. And they were showing me light, especially with that. What did we just, we just had an astrological event recently. I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was an eclipse. Uh, we just had a bunch of crazy stuff um, going on, but it was like last weekend. Oh, 1111 portal. Also the 1111 portal. So much light hitting earth right now. And they're showing me right now, you know, ships surrounding earth in the solar system, the Arcturians, Pleiadians, other beings sending light codes, uh, and sending light codes into our DNA to help unlock and activate our DNA, which is wonderful. So they were just reinstating how much they are assisting us right now in, in all of the upgrades and light we're receiving, um, unlocking your DNA. And there's also a lot of clearing in the astral realms, in the etheric realms right now on Earth. Uh, I know I'm playing a really big role in clearing a lot of astral and just kind of like negative energy, negative entities and all that from uh, St. Louis on the local level, which is where I live and in the astral in general. So there's a lot of that going on, clearing all that. Um, and they said that we are watching. Of course, the Arcturians are watching, they're guiding, they're here right now from their ships. And during this activation, which we will start in just a second, they're going to basically be taking us to another place. And this is beyond time and space, this work. Um, time isn't linear like we think it is. So our consciousness is going to be traveling up to the ship with the Arcturians in our energetic bodies as well, even though we are sitting right here looking at this uh, screen. So that's pretty exciting. And we can also ask that... Um, that they continue to assist us in our sleep states tonight. Um, in the astral realms tonight with healing and all of that, if uh, you feel called to. And then the last thing they said was focusing on the heart. If you feel confused or lost or stuck at all, or just any emotions, any anxiety, anything like that, remember to always come back to your heart. Your heart will guide you. Your heart, if you focus on your heart, the answers will come to you. So if you're feeling stuck or confused, um, lost, Remember to do that. So maybe spend a few days uh, doing a heart chakra meditation and focusing on your heart. Not focusing on what's going on out there. Not even always focusing on contacting the star beings. Just ask them to assist and then focus inward and they will be there. And that was about it for the messages that they had. Was there solar flares too, maybe? I believe so, yeah. there's We're like going through like a huge, I feel like, series of solar flares right now. Yeah. Leah says, my ego tries to tell me every Sunday that I don't have time to stop for this. But I stop no matter what I'm doing. The call is too strong to be here. Thank you for being here, Leah, and everybody else. Uh, Sunday is Starseed Day. Sundays are for starseed activations, even if you can't make it live. Uh, definitely, even I feel so much better after doing these. So a few more announcements, and then we will go ahead and get started with the activation. Thank you, Victor, for sharing. Um, 
He says the DNA activation uh, kits have helped me a lot too. And there is a link to the DNA activation kits, which is a, available now in the description, um, which is a whole kit with everything that I did to help activate my DNA. It has nine channeled sessions from the Pleiadians, Arcturians, Lyrans, uh, Syrians, uh, Mother Mary, Yeshua, the inner earth beings, uh, channeled through the additional third eye that I have in my throat chakra. So it acts as a portal and opens up to allow you to have these very, very intense, powerful spiritual experiences and energetic upgrades because of my channeling through the uh, additional third eye in my throat. So just the sound of my voice. Um, and yeah, so if you're interested in those, those are available in the description. I also have a workshop on uh, cord cutting, ancestral healing, and karma clearing, which is great for right now. I'm releasing all of those layers of the onion. A deep chakra healing with the inner earth beings. And then a workshop with a one-hour channel DNA activation on how to activate your DNA and connect with your star family. All of those available in the description. Uh, and then you have lifetime access. They come with an hour-long channel session that you can listen to over and over again. Incredibly powerful. That's what I did every day to get to where I'm at. I've had a rapid awakening over the past two years, uh, two, three years. And it's because of the my star family and these DNA activations and activations that I'm now channeling for you guys. And I also wanted to gauge your interest. I want to do another workshop. It's been a while since I've done one. What do you guys think about a psychic development slash channeling workshop? So then I could do like a, a group uh, a group class coming up over the next few weeks. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And then I will set that up to help you activate your psychic gifts um, and all that. And yep, those are all the other ones. All the workshops in the description. Thank you, Victor, for sharing. Cord cutting, DNA activation, connect with star family, deep chakra healing. Jason, thank you for the super chat. Is there also good technology objects too? What do you mean by this? Zach, thank you. Says the kits are great. Love the activations. And that's a that's a, a big program. So there's there's a lot in the kits. I spent three months creating and recording and channeling it. Uh, that's my baby. It's the, the, the ETs have been showing me to make those for the past uh, year, maybe two years now. Uh, so I'm super excited that they're finally done. That's literally the most transformative thing that's happened to me. Okay, let me see. Okay, psychic development. People are saying yes. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, then I will get that started. And then next Sunday, I'll have signups for a group class. Cutting cords now. Great. Would be interested. Okay, cool. And if you are interested and you're not always on the live activations, reach out to me, send me an email, and then I'll get you set up too. But I'll announce it next Sunday too. Okay, beautiful. Everybody likes it. We like it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love developing psychic abilities. It's like one of my favorite topics. DNA activation helps with that a lot. Okay, beautiful. And uh, you afterwards, if you can't make it to the workshop live, um, you'll get a recording. It's always fun to be there live with the group, but you can also just get, get the recording too. Um, Victor, I think they're asking if there's good implants. Yes, there are good implants. So I actually have a good implant behind my left ear. Now you can't like feel it, but I was laying in bed one day. Um, this was a, a while ago, sometime in the last six months. And, um, I was connecting with star beings. They're, they were there, a few different types of star beings. And I was kind of just like meditating, doing energy work with them. And then suddenly I felt, it felt like a tapping or a pulsing coming from inside of me right behind my ear. And then I heard telepathically, you have an implant right there. And I felt it like pulsing. But then I try to feel there and I don't feel anything. It's like it's a multidimensional implant. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, so you can have an implant that maybe you could physically see. You can have an implant that you have no idea that you have because it's more interdimensional. Um, 
Paige was mentioning not able to connect with my astral body and light body stuck. Um, you always have your light body and astral body with you. So I don't know why you would think that it's stuck. Hi, Beth. I just mentioned you. Starseed Chats was awesome last Wednesday. Tyler is a great storyteller. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's what you're asking. Not all technology inside you is bad. That's correct. So this activation, we're just focusing on any negative interference, clearing that out. And I had an experience um, a couple weeks ago where I, I woke up and I met with the Arcturians and I literally did this exact activation I'm about to channel for you guys. I The Arcturians did that with me and it was incredibly po profound. And uh, yeah, they were just helping me remove things that uh, don't serve me. Awesome. Okay. Everybody's excited for the workshop. And then we will get started in just a second. Linda, I feel like I have an implant, but not a positive one. Always fighting against it. Yeah, exactly. So we'll we'll uh, get rid of those today. How do we attain negative implants? So I mentioned that in the beginning of this live, but it could be a negative abduction experience, or it could be just negative, um, even like etheric beings that... Uh, like sometimes these these like dark forces will follow you from lifetimes because they know who you are. They know that you're a starseed and they don't want you to help raise the frequency of the planet. They don't want you to remember who you are. So they'll attach these things to your energetic field, maybe even to your chakras or put implants to help keep to make you kind of stay at a lower level. So that's how that happens. And I think it's more common than than we think. Maybe a video on how to deactivate implants. Yeah, so the Arcturians are great at helping with this. So beautiful. All right, I guess we are about ready. Okay, are you guys ready? One other announcement. I've partnered with Hopewell Farms CBD. Um, I absolutely love this CBD. I started taking it about a year and a half ago after I had a health scare. Um, and then I started having really bad anxiety after this. So it really helped harmonize my inner body, harmonize my emotions, help relieve anxiety, and it helps me sleep at night. It helps with meditation. So uh, Hopewell Farms is here in the chat right now. It's a lovely star seed couple. They do Kelonic Science energy work on this CBD. So it's really great quality. Uh, and right now they're doing 15% off uh, for Black Friday. So there's a with code Lily thanks and there's a link for that in the description. And also Starseed merch is 11% off right now. There's a code for that in the description too on my website. Here's one of my mugs on a mission to save the planet. I've got coffee mugs, hoodies, t-shirts. I just got phone cases, Sasquatch, Starseed, Lyran, Pleiadian, all kinds of cool things that would make for cool uh, Christmas gifts. Okay. Oh, goodness. And one other announcement. I almost forgot. So I recently had a session with Holly uh, Catronio, which I, I mentioned, I think, last live or the live before that, where she helped remove um, negative ET interference from uh, she helps remove it from the home, from your chakras and even pets. She can do pets, too. She helped me remove some negative ET interference that they had put in my kittens, third eye and crown chakra. He started acting insane crazy and that really freaked me out i knew immediately i was like this is not my cat he was acting possessed and i had a session with holly the next day and so she she offered me a session we did it through all of my chakras and then i grabbed my cat kylo and she removed uh the the et negative et interference from his third eye and crown and he's been fine ever since it was crazy. So uh, she's offering sessions too. If you want um, entity removal from uh, your home, your chakras, or your pets, uh, her name's Holly, and I left her email in the description too. Kylo's doing, he's doing better. Um, his, he still has digestive issues, um, so I'm trying to find a right food for him. He hasn't been eating as much, so I've been kind of freaking out as a mom <laughs> because you know, he, he has really bad di digestive issues and he's such a high frequency kitty. It's hard for him. 
uh, the the lady I did a session with said that he was top five highest frequency cats that she's ever done a session with. And he's an Arcturian starseed. So, but he's doing good right now. He's taking a nap, still working on finding, uh, you know, his getting his digestive issues worked out. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that you could have, like, negative ET interference or negative interference with your pets, too, but you can. They can attach to your pets, um, attach devices to your pets and their chakras. So now I always put up protection, and I always do clearings with my cat, Kylo, whenever I'm doing them for me, and I do it every day now because don't mess with my baby. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Kylo hasn't drank from the toilet again. <laughs> it was just that one time. I'm hoping he he trains himself how to go pee in the toilet. That would be awesome. Okay. All right, guys. So we will go ahead and uh, get started if you want to kind of get in a comfortable position. If you're not in, in, grab some crystals. If you're not an avid meditator, that's okay. All you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice and uh, relax. Let me grab something real quick. with the Arcturians. All right. If everybody would like to go ahead and get in a comfortable position. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of do want to give try giving him CBD. I didn't even think about that before. Okay. All right, guys. Rose, I would reach out to Holly if there's something scaring your dog every night that you can't see. Definitely reach out to her. Hmm. Okay, so I'm using the uh, Sacral Chakra Bowl here, Crystal Alchemy Singing Bowl. Very harmonizing, potent healing frequencies. So go ahead and uh, get in a comfortable position. You may want to close your eyes and begin taking a few deep breaths in. And as you breathe in, Breathe light into your body. Breathing in light, exhaling any tension, exhaling any extra energy or tension through the tips of your fingers, any excess energy rolling down, your legs going out through your feet, going down into the earth to be recycled, Breathing in light, see this light flowing through your body, going into your heart as your heart chakra begins to expand and open. Light going down your arms to the tips of your fingers, down your torso, your thighs, your calves, and then the tips of your toes. Raising your frequency grounding you as you are fully present in the here and now. And now we create sacred space around each one of us, calling in Archangel Michael, the warrior protector angel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel and Uriel, the archangels of the four directions, come be here with us now north, east, south, west, bringing in light, clearing the room or wherever you are, bringing in light down the walls, creating sacred space around you 
in your energetic field, holding your energetic field, these archangels. Declaring the space sacred, cutting it off from any outside interference. And now we call upon Archangel Metatron of the above space, who brings down the golden Christ consciousness grid from the grand central sun. See this Archangel bringing it down through space, through the sky, bringing the golden Christ grid into your crown chakra, into the chakras above your head, opening your crown as your crown fills with light, focusing on the top of your fore forehead, on top of your head for a moment. The Christ grid fills your crown chakra, opening you up, connecting you to the divine, to source love, to source light. And then goes to your third eye. Your third eye chakra opens as it fills with light. Through your throat, your throat chakra opens. And then Metatron anchors the Christ grid into your heart. Calling upon Archangel Sandalphon of the below space. Sandalphon brings up the 5D crystalline grid of the earth, a platinum light from deep down within the earth, bringing this grid up, up to the surface, to the chakras below your feet, your earth star chakra, the chakras within your feet, up to your root, your root chakra fills with light and opens, your sacral chakra opens, your solar plexus opens, and then he anchors the 5D crystalline grid within your heart center. You are now completely surrounded and anchored with light. We call in the Arcturians our star brothers and sisters of the highest love and light, our ascension teams to assist in this activation, this removal of negative interference, this healing and these upgrades. You are now surrounded by your team. Feel the energy shift as you are surrounded by these loving, high-frequency beings, our star family. The Arcturians now step forward, taking out their hand and inviting us onto their mothership. See yourself, your consciousness, transported onto this ship, greeted by beautiful Arcturian beings, star family. They invite you to sit in this chair that reclines. You take a seat, and now two Arcturians Begin to scan your body and your energetic field. For any negative interference, for any negative chips or implants, for any devices that do not belong there. Starting from the head, scanning down.
investigating the area around your head, removing any devices, implants from your head, from your neck. See the Arcturians plucking these out, removing these safely. Arcturians continue scanning your body. Another Arcturian steps forward, starting at your feet. while two other ones are up near your head, scanning around your head, your energetic field, your physical body, your shoulders. Removing any devices. Going down each side of your arms, scanning your arms, your forearm, your wrist, your hand, scanning and removing any chips, implants, or any negative interference. any multidimensional technology that does not belong. Or anything else that does not belong or serve you. The other Arcturian by your feet, scanning your energetic field around your feet. Scanning your feet, removing anything that does not belong. Scanning each of your energetic fields. Mental, emotional body, astral body. Gently and safely removing anything that does not belong. Just breathe in and allow the work to be done. The two Arcturians near the top now go down to your chest, your heart. Scanning this area, scanning your heart chakra, removing anything that does not belong or does not serve you. They also send frequencies and healing into your heart center, upgrades into your heart center. Helping your heart open, fill with love, removing any blockages from your heart center any interference in or around your heart center. Breathing in deep, allowing the work to be done. The Arcturian near your feet makes its way up your ankles, your calves, scanning your physical body, your energetic body, on your legs, removing anything that does not serve you, does not belong, while the other two continue working on your heart and surrounding area.
Also removing anything from the hands. Anything blocking the energy flow. The wrists. Arms, shoulders, chest, your calves, and surrounding area. arms, shoulders, chest, now going down to your torso, your waist, and the surrounding area. Removing any devices, any implants, any chips, anything that does not belong. From your back, your spine, your navel, your stomach, your waist. Your energy centers, your solar plexus, sacral. Removing any implants, devices, chips that do not belong, any negative interference. in your energetic body around your torso, in your aura, removing anything that does not belong, now making their way down to your pelvic area, your root chakra, your the bottom of your spine, your hips, Removing anything that does not belong. Out of your reproduction organs, removing any chips, implants, negative interference, negative technology, Continuing to scan your aura, your physical body, these Arcturians. Make another scan, removing any interference from your energetic field, your mental, emotional body, astral body, removing any blockages that can be removed any devices in your energetic field, in your physical body. Going back up to the head, the brain, your mind, your crown chakra and third eye, removing any negative devices, any negative interference, any negative technology, 
antennas. Any negative programming. Your neck, your head, your brain. Your crown and third eye. The two Arcturians up near your head, working on your head, your brain, third eye and crown. Another one continues doing one last scan up and down your body, your aura. And whenever they are finished, they step aside in front of you. They surround you and invite you now to receive healing to your inner child, your childhood and past lifetimes. The Arcturians create a blue energy bubble that surrounds you, a blue healing technology. See yourself surrounded in this bubble, in this technology. See your inner child stepping forward to your left. A little you. Pains and traumas from your childhood. Your inner child might be scared or upset or feel feeling unloved not feeling secure or safe, whatever comes up. The Arcturians now create a blue healing bubble and put it around your inner child. See this beautiful blue bubble surrounding your inner child, surrounding you, and it begins to heal your inner child deep within you sending love, light, and healing to your childhood, to your inner child. Feeling your heart beginning to swell, perhaps, as your inner child receives love and healing and support, making you feel safe, secure, And now we invite past lifetime. It may be a specific past lifetime or maybe a collection of past lifetimes that may still be negatively impacting you today. We invite this version of you to step forward on your right. Trauma from past lifetimes or a past lifetime steps forward. A past lifetime that needs healing. You may feel an, an impression of what happened in this past lifetime, what needs healing.
Maybe it is a negative pattern that needs to be cleared and healed so that you can move on. This past lifetime may be affecting your heart and your ability to be authentically you. It may cause issues with your connection to your higher self, your star family, the divine. The Arcturians now create a blue healing bubble and put this bubble around this past lifetime. See this beautiful blue healing technology sending love, light, and healing to this past lifetime. Also breaking or releasing any curses, any dark magic. any ancestral patterns or curses coming from past lifetimes or in general. Breathing in, allowing the work to be done. Clearing, healing the past, going through past timelines or parallel timelines rather. Healing any patterns that need to be healed that do not serve you. Sending deep love, light and healing to your past other incarnations, as well as your inner child. Also clearing and healing your energetic field from these past lifetimes, removing any interference that may have followed you from past lifetimes. Any devices that may have followed you from past lifetimes. The Arcturians remove them now. And breathing in deep now, you see this past lifetime version of you happier, lighter. The energy is different, they are uplifted. They are healed. They are at peace. You look over to your inner child. Your inner child is smiling, happy, healthy, safe, and secure, loved. And now with the Arcturian's assistance, you see this past version of you and your inner child version of you begin to merge with you in your bubble, in your blue healing bubble, merging within you, safely integrating, bringing more of your true light and essence back to you, raising your frequency, Safely integrating, becoming one. You are now one. You are feeling lighter, brighter, clear. 
you sit up, thanking the Arcturians, and they still have this blue bubble around you to continue healing as the day goes, as well as protecting you. The Arcturians surrounding you send you so much love and light. Send your thanks, give them a hug. Send them love from your heart. And whenever you are ready, you stand up from this chair and the Arcturians will now guide you back to your body off of the ship, bringing you back, still with this blue bubble around you, coming back to your body, the present moment now, feeling lighter, feeling brighter, and whenever you are ready, you may want to wiggle your fingers and toes and let me know how your experience was. Sending love and gratitude to all of our guides, our Ascension team, our star families, the Archangels for holding this space. <sighs> Feeling clear. Okay, wow, you guys. So while I was uh, channeling this, and the Arcturians were working on our body and our energetic field. I kept seeing, uh, I was seeing like what they were working on before I said it. They were showing me. And uh, I had already like mentioned the shoulders and arms. But as we were working on the heart and the chest, they were showing me uh, hands. Do the hands again, the, the shoulders, the arms. And so we worked on that again. And I literally felt something start like, so it felt like something sharp poking me inside of my uh, right arm, on the inside of my arm. Crazy. I feel so much lighter in some places, Victor. Like energy is flowing better there. Beautiful. Libby, my third eye. Wow. Felt it on my temples, throat, heart, and ankles. Awesome. Thank you. Feel super light. Nick says, Janice, amazing. Clear, such clarity. Yes, very, very clear. Centaurian on my right. He, we, so sorry for killing so many. This <laughs> PJ says, Centaurian. Um, Phoenix Blue felt a jolt of energy that lifted my feet from the ground. I feel lighter now. Wow. Beth, wow. I saw peacock feathers spreading, fanning out. Beautiful. That's interesting because I see the peacock a lot and the peacock to me, um, it can, it can be like good fortune and other things. You might want to look it up. But specifically, whenever I see the peacock, it is royalty. It means royalty. Victor, they worked a lot on my head. I felt tingling in my crown. Chickadee, that was powerful. Thank you. Zach feels much lighter as well. This one was super intense and amazing. Yeah, I feel like I could have broken this up into two different ones. Um, definitely feel free to do this again if you'd like. Um so next Sunday, I want to focus on doing shadow work and kind of like meeting your shadow and then integrating your shadow, which can run negative subconscious programming without you even realizing it. Uh, so shining the light on that. And part of that is inspired, well, from what I'm going through right now. Um, but also the Medium channel uh, recently posted a video about shadow work. And I was like, that's a great idea to uh, do that right now. I'm already working on it. So it'll be very powerful. We'll do that next Sunday. But feel free to do this again. Um, and I want to do an inner child one, a, an activation just for the inner child, because that's where a lot of our problems come from. And one of the other things the Arcturians told me uh, whenever I met with them before this was to, uh, yeah, focus on your inner child and be playful. Like, like have try and get into that space where you have like these these innocence, this like young, like love and laughter and playfulness and not so serious really connecting with your uh, child your inner child and that really helps you connect with the universe source the divine and your star family too because it's that you know playful loving uh innocent um space 
That was mad. I felt every sensation before you said, and I choked on the third eye. Wow. Tabitha experienced physical sensations. When you said to focus on my waist, I felt a spasm and tingling on my pelvic bone. That was pretty intense. And then later my calf. Wow. Yeah. So you may feel like these like jolts or like pokes or prods. Uh, pretty crazy. In my left arm, it hurt, but then disappeared. Wow. Mine was my head. I felt it, Joan. Pandora. Wow. Amazing. A few minutes in my body temperature rose. My third eye is so open now. I saw so many beautiful shapes, images, beings. Beautiful. Mary Jean felt something poking in her back. Wow. Felt it all through the body. Danny felt tension in my skull and chest. Awesome. I was informed by three children on the other side. Wow. That's amazing. Rose. Janice, you're such an angel. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jay Lizard, for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. And if you guys, uh, if you're here right now watching the live or the replay, please give this video a like. And uh, also, please comment on it afterwards. That really helps the channel. And if you would like to donate, you can. Uh, there's a buy me a coffee link to help support the channel. Um, that is an option as well. That's in the description. Tingling. Wow. So amazing doing this again before bed. Pulled the peacock card today. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, so many amazing experiences. Wow, that's awesome. Heart chakra. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Marcus, for the super sticker. Thank you for your sacred work. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, well, that was a wonderful session. Thank you, guys. Uh, like I said, feel free to redo that if you'd like to do that again. Um, we're like onions. We're doing so much clearing and healing work. Um, don't forget. Let's see what don't forget. Don't forget. Uh, I have the DNA activation kits available and other uh, workshops. Uh, how to connect with your star family, deep chakra healing within earth beings, cord cutting. Uh, all of those available in the description. And next week, Next Sunday, I will announce the psychic development workshop that I'll be doing. So stay tuned for that. Or if you may not, if you don't know if you're going to be here next Sunday, then feel free to shoot me an email and we can get you signed up that way. And this Wednesday for Starseed Chats, I have Dr. Courtney Brown, the director of Farsight Institute. I'm super excited to have him on. Uh, he's he's amazing. So he he does remote viewing. Farsight Institute, very, very scientific, very uh, like the proof of it. They're very, very professional with it. He remote views all sorts of topics and he has like a catalog online where you can see. So he's remote viewed like Earth's history, re remote viewed ETs, remote viewed politics. <laughs> they remote view so many different things and it's pretty amazing. And uh, they, he also with a certain a specific camera, he's been able to capture so much UFO footage with infrared. So at any given time, there are ships up there and he's starting to capture them with this specific type of camera. So we'll go through some of that footage. That'll be Starseed Chats uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Also feel free to join the Telegram group chat. Uh, thank you, Delberta, for the super sticker. I love it. Thanks, Lily. Love the meditation. Okay, guys, I will see you. Um, I will see you Wednesday night for Starseed Chats or next Sunday. And yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment, and feel free to leave a donation on Buy Me a Coffee. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.